From our network studios here in Atlanta, I'm Kevin McAlpin, truest reporter for the fan and the Atlanta Braves radio network. It's Tuesday, September the 1st, 2020. Braves and Red Sox are coming up shortly from Fenway Park in Boston. Braves, a three-game lead atop the NLE standings, earning their 20th win of the season last night in game one of this three-game interleague series. Meanwhile, for the Red Sox, 12-23 and on the year. They are 12 and a half games out of first in the American League East. A couple of right-handers going at it tonight. Ian Anderson for the Braves and Ryan Weber, former Brave, on the mound for Boston. 6-3 to three was your final in Game 1 of this series last night. Max Freed, another W for him here in the new year as he allowed two earned over five innings worth of work. Probably wasn't his best stuff we've seen all year, but he battled, he grinded, and of course Austin Riley gave him that run support that he needed to get a chance to get a W with that bases clearing three-run triple. Freed is 6-0. and The Braves are 8-0 in his eight starts here on the new year, and he's 7-0 and in inter interleague play to start his career. He joins Justin Verlander as the only two pitchers, of course, interleague play has only been around since 1997 to go 7-0 in their first seven starts against the other league. Freddie Freeman continued his hot streak, a 14-game hit streak entering play tonight. He was 2-4 for four in last night's contest, tied for the second longest active streak in the big leagues with Jose Abreu of the Chicago White Sox. Austin Riley, last 11 games, he's hitting 375 with six extra base hits and 12 RBI. He's hit safely in 10 of his last 11 games. And how about the Braves? When they have a lead after five innings, they are now 13-0 this season and they'll look for that trend to continue behind Ian Anderson tonight the 22 year old making his second start in the big leagues of course Wednesday night his debut against the Yankees he was tremendous one earned on one hit over six innings worth of work and of course he carried that uh, perfect game bid through five and a third and uh, of course he was a Red Sox fan growing up uh, right between uh, Yankee Stadium and Fenway Park and his family of course will probably all be uh, finding it hard to do but they'll all be cheering for the Braves here tonight and again, it's his second career start. Looking forward to seeing what Ian Anderson has in store for an encore. He'll be taking on Ryan Weber, 0-2, a 6 ERA, a 22nd round pick of the Braves in 2009. Thir uh, 16 earned on 26 hits in 24 innings this season. He's walked 11. He has struck out 11 batters along the way. So that's a look at the matchup here tonight. Anderson for the Braves, Weber for the Red Sox. Braves looking for another series victory, and they'll do it tonight with their youngster on the mound making his much-anticipated second start in the big leagues. And how about the fact the Braves have had just two starters earn W's this season? I mentioned one of them earlier, and that's Max Freed. And the only other Braves starting pitcher to get a W here in 2020... Yep, that's right. The guy tonight, Ian Anderson on the mound for the Braves. Jim Powell and Joe Simpson, they've got the call coming up for you shortly on the Atlanta Braves radio network. Then stick around immediately following the ball game. I'll have you covered for the Hyundai postgame show. And of course, Braves wrap up locally here in Atlanta as well. Braves and Red Sox coming up next right here on the Atlanta Braves radio network.